Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of a different video. I'm going to show you basically three ways how to get more FPS and two ways how to get even double FPS or triple FPS. So the first option would be for emulation is to just use a FPS mod. A lot of games are locked until 30 FPS. So the best way would be a 60 FPS mod. But what if 60 FPS is not enough? Or if you play a game that doesn't have a 60 FPS mod, then I suggest the first one would be lossless scaling. You can also stack these two. So with this mod, I would get like 60 FPS in a game, at least in a specific game. But what if I want 120? Then we go to lossless scaling, for example. This is for every GPU or like 90% of the GPUs out there. So first of all, let this, like don't turn this on. Choose 3.1 fixed times 2 if you want, for example, from 30 to 60. If you do times 3, you will go from 30 until 90. But you will get more artifacting. Mm. In this video, I cannot show it to you, but I will link a video in the description about more detailed explanation for lossless scaling. This is just for the emulator and I cannot show on YouTube emulated games for obvious reasons. So if you're playing at 4K, put it at 50%. If you do 4040p, just keep it around 70, 75 or 80. If you play at 1080p, just try anything between 85 and 100. This is not an in-depth guide, it's how it works. If you want it, click the video in the description and it shows an in-depth guide on what all the settings are and a deeper explanation, basically. For now, I'm going to let it at 2. The Capture HEI WGC Q target. If you have a high-end GPU, put it at 0. If you have a, a mid-range GPU, put that one, but try to run it first at zero. Max frame latency. If you have a high-end GPU, put it at 10. If you don't have a high-end GPU and you have like a mid-range GPU, put it at three or one. For most people, one will work. For some people, three will work. If you have a high-end GPU, 10 will work. Uh, again, watch the detailed video on what it all is, because I'm not going to explain everything in this video. I already have a video about it. So yeah, then you just run your game and you click on scale and the game will go from 30 FPS until 60. Or if you have a game that runs already at 60 FPS natively or with the 60 FPS mod, then it will go from 60 to 120 so it will feel a bit better you have more fps i didn't see artifacting if you do see artifacting what you can try to do is higher the flow scale and put this one a bit lower because maybe your gpu can't handle it in general with this version of lossless scaling the artifacting is like minimum then if you have a 40 series or 50 series GPU. That is the last way I'm going to show. That is with the NVIDIA app. So this is only for NVIDIA users with the 40 or 50 series GPU. So what you want to do, you start like this, you go to graphics, um, you click the three dots, you add the program, you search for your emulators. I have them right here. In this case, I'm going to click on Eden. You open it, then Eden will come here. Then you click on it. You go to smooth motion, you turn it on. And that's basically it. It is a bit like smooth motion. Um, for the longest time, it didn't really work good with emulators, but I found out in the last couple of weeks with testing, it works really nice with emulators. And honestly, from my own testing, so it is my opinion with my testing. I found that smooth motion works better than lossless scaling. Like I didn't find any artifacting. Note that I am on a 5080, so I can't speak for 40 series because I haven't tested on a 40 series yet, but I will this week and I will put a comment how it went. But from what I heard also on 40 series, it works amazing. So yeah, if you have a 40 or 50 series, I suggest going with smooth motion. 
because for my testing it just works amazing if you don't have a 40 or 50 series i suggest lossless scaling of course always the 60 fps mod if it is available i guess i will get some comments on where to get some specific things i'm not going to answer any questions about switch emulator because i can't and for where you get your mods i suggest uh, game banana or nexus mods those are two nice websites they both have mods for a lot of games but also for the switch emulators they work on uh, sudachi citron rejunix eden they work for every emulator basically if you guys want i can maybe make a video on how to set up the eden emulator or any other emulator just put it in the comments so if you guys like the video please drop a comment put a like subscribe to the channel and yeah, again i will see you guys in the next one bye